With its fresh layer of snow, this construction site doesn't look like much. <laughs> but to these Burnsville firefighters, it's a sign of hope for the year ahead that the chief says starts with this new building. And setting aside some space that makes it uh, a place that people want to be and, you know, make it feel like home for them. The group will spend a third of their life working out of Station 1, a building from the 70s. A 2015 study found the department had outgrown. It then partnered with a local architect to design a new one, dubbed a model for wellness. They built a number of fire stations and they stay up on these trends and they brought us a number of ideas of, hey, here's what the research is saying, here's what we've seen done, what are your thoughts? When it's done in October, there will be a meditation area, lighting that changes based on time of day and a natural color scheme. Everybody finds their own thing that works for them and we want to support that and allow people to find their way. The 48 member fire department will respond to 7,500 calls a year, most of them medical. We see ourselves as responders and we're the helpers. It's tough for us to call and get help. Being on the front line in a pandemic also putting pressure on their mental health. So there's definitely a stigma that we work on overcoming. Reducing occupation related stress is a common New Year's resolution. And while their fresh start is still under snow, Burnsville's brave firefighters have a lot to look forward to. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News. That, that new uh, fire station cost about $18.5 million that the city used bonds for that were backed by taxpayers. The chief uh, says they're also still working on what will happen to the old building once they move into the new one.